Amen. Are you blessed? Amen. Woo! Jesus. Amen. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Indeed, God is good. God is faithful. God is alive. That is what we proclaim and declare from the start. Amen. Amen. So the truly our God is alive, then we must be alive to listen to Him as He speak to us through His wonderful words. It's endless an instrument to speak to you. But the real one, the true one who is going to speak to you is the Lord. Amen? Amen. Physically, I am here standing, but let the Spirit of God work upon us. God. Amen. Hallelujah. So be with me. Amen. Yeah. But before that, can we all just stand as we all know and acknowledge the word of God upon us? Amen. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, hallelujah. We thank you. We bless your name. Because in the Lord God, you are alive. You are good. You are faithful. You are great. You are wonderful. You are amazing. No one else is like you, Lord. Yes. That's what we declare, Lord yes. Father, that nothing yes. can compare with you. Yes. And also to the promises that you have for us, Lord Father. As we believe, Lord Father God, in your wonderful word. So today, Lord Father God, at this very moment, Lord Father, we ask the power of your Holy Spirit yes. to fall upon us. As you enter in every one of us and fill us, Lord, Father God. Because, Lord, we are nothing without you. It's only you that can make things possible in each and everyone's life in this room today. So, Father God, we ask you to be the one to lead and guide us, Lord, Father, as we go on with your wonderful words that you have spoken to us today, Lord, Father, to be shared to one another, Lord Father, to make us more stronger and to keep ourselves before you, O oh God. Thank you. We bless your name. We give you back all the praises and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. So all be seated. Hallelujah. Our, our passage for today is focused on Jeremiah. Let's open our Bible. Do you have your weapons with you? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jeremiah. Nine, verse twenty-three to twenty-four. Listen very careful. As God is speaking to us through His Word. This is what the Lord says. Let not the wise man boast of his wisdom, or the strong man boast of his strength, or the rich man boast of his riches. But let him who boasts Boast about this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on the earth. For in this I delight, declares the Lord. Amen. Maliwanag po na. God. He's saying this, wala po tayong dapat ipagmalaki. Amen? From the start, sabi niya, no one can boss. Nothing we can boss in our life. Neither our riches, neither our strength, neither our life. Because it's only God who give us this life. And he said, the one only that we can boss, ang dapat lang na may pagmalaki natin is kung kilala ba natin siya ng tunay. 
Hindi lang kilala sa pangalan, ha? Kung tunay nga ba na namumuhay tayo parang kay Kristo. Amen. But before that, I thank God for how many weeks, Sundays, I am here to His strength. Walking every morning from 4.30 at home to the bus stop at 6 o'clock to get the 6.30 bus. It helps to my health. Naruwaman, birukon di ba ba? Exercise. My strength come from the Lord. So I have nothing to post for that. But cause I always pray that He will always sustain or give me strength so that for the sake of Him who is sending me to do His will will be fulfilled. Because I am just as nothing in Him. That's why I keep humbling myself before the Lord that I am nothing always before Him. I am nothing without you to listen also to us. Yeah. It's true. From our testimonies, akala natin Sunday is our best day. Right? But I tell you the truth. The reality of life. You need personal risk day, mga kapatid. Kaya nga sabi niya, sa kasulatan, this church or the ministry, in focus on yourself sometimes. Retreat from the ministry and let yourself the rest. Para sa ganun, hindi tayo, hindi tayo madrag. Mga kapatid. Especially those who are workers. I am advising you to please take a time for yourself. Amen? I experienced all you had experienced for 20 years here in Saudi. I have been through to all that. Sa lahat ng kahirapan na daanan ko. Kaya masabi ko sa Panginoon, kapag ngayon pa ako susuko, Lord! Kayaan mo akong I pass through all the trials in testing. Ngayon pa kaya? Dapat yun ang itanong natin sa sarili natin. Ngayon pa kaya kayo susuko o babalik ulit? Ngayon at nandyan na kayo sa kalagitnaan? We need to finish the race that is set to each and every one of us, mga kapatid. Kaya mahirap ka hindi. Sabi nga kanina ng mga testimony natin, be positive. Nandyan ang Panginoon nag-aantay sa atin. Amen! Hallelujah! Sabi natin ang Panginoon nasa sa atin. Yung pati. Kasi yun ang binigay niyang pangalan sa mga naniniwala. Sa mga naniniwala o those who believe. Hindi sa lahat. Amen? So if you believe that God is with us, then God is with us. Amen. So sa binasa natin, wala po tayo may pagmamalaki. Anong sabi niya? Of all the things we could boast about, our intellect, wealth, good looks, power, or achievements, the only thing that carries weight with God is our relationship with Him. Relationship. Yun po ang number one. Kahit po lagi tayo dito sa simbahan, baka nakalimutan na natin kung anong sitwasyon ng relasyon natin sa kanya. Amen? Kaya kung minsan, kailangan natin magmuni-muni, mga kapatid. Hindi po masama na pagbakasyonin mo naman ang iyong sarili once in a while. Amen? Everyone needs a retreat to relax, 
to feel the natural things around you that God has given you. Kasi minsan nakakalimutan na natin yung naaanghap natin hangin eh. Kung saan galing? Kung paano nagmumog, kung paano kumahangin. Kasi ang focus lang natin, akala natin, just to fulfill those tasks that has been given to us. No. I'm sorry, mga kapatid, hindi ko kayo na-encourage ng pagkawin ng task ninyo, but I'm encouraging you to take rest so that you can do more in your task. Amen. Amen. Be more successful in your task that God has given to you. Ganyan. Kailangan mag-ipon ng lakas para sa ganun, mayroon kang enerhiya na mag-oon. Dahil pag naubusan ka ng enerhiya, kahit tutok pa pa, wala yung attention mo, patay. Amen. Kaya alagaan ninyo ang mga puso ninyo. Amen! Amen! Puso ka lang. Alagaan ninyo ang mga puso ninyo. Amen! Don't make it ache. Don't make it pain. Don't make it hurt. Love your heart. Pagtos. Sabi nga natin, God comforts. God knows your heart in mind. Be positive. Because always negative belongs to the other side. Careful of that. Kaya pag sinabi, kapag inatake kayo ng depression, ngayon na naman, bumalik sa nangalipas. If you get in the name of Jesus, look forward. Iniwan mo na ang kahapon, mga kapatid. Huwag mo nang balik-balikan pa. Kaya pag sinabi natin, nandito tayo ngayon, yung hinaharap. Hindi. Kapag may nag-remind sa inyo kahapon, rebuke her. But not rebuke in words. In prayer, my sisters and brothers. Baka mamaya, makasakit ka pa, baka hindi mo na unawaan. Just take it, what he says, or what he said, as she said, then leave it in the hands of God. Ganun love mo. Amen? Di tahimik, di ba? Walang problema ang nangyari. Putol ang lahat. Kasi nanahimik ka. Kaya nga sabi niya, blessed are those who are peacemaker. Ano ba ang peacemaker? Ibig sabihin, pag may narinig ka at negatibo, hanggang doon lang. Keep it yourself. Pray for it. Huwag mo nang ikalabit doon o kaya itawag doon kasi may mga smartphone na yun eh. Mabilis na sana sa patron kung ano kahit hindi pinabalak pa lang ngayon, o kaya kahapon, hindi pa nangyayari, nangyayari na doon sa balita. Nakalipas pa nangyayari na. Ano ngayon ang dating? O diba? Kaya gasit ni Prista. Dahil yun ang gusto na ang kaaway sa atin. He wants us to destroy one another para sa ganun, ma-destroy din ang relasyon natin sa bawat isa. Amen. Kaya, tignan natin, ang check natin ang relasyon natin sa Panginoon at sa ating mga kapatiran. Kasi, sabi ng Panginoon din, you're a liar if you say you love me and yet you hate your brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Don't get me wrong, ha? Pag mali ako, puntaan niyo ako. But before that, check your Bible first. Pag may mal na mali akong sinabi dito, you are free to come and check me. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Apostle Paul said that his highest goal was that I may gain Christ. Lahat ba tayo ganun? Philippians 3 verse 3. Hey, tignan nga natin kung anong sinasabi sa Philippians. Philippians 3. Simulan natin sa 7. 7 hanggang sa 9. Ang sabi dito, But whatever was to my profit, I now consider loss 
for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For whose sake I have lost all things, I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ. Nine, and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God and is by faith. Yes. Amen. Maliwanag po doon, di ba? Mismo si Apostle Paul, alam po natin kung ano istorya niya, di ba? He comes from a very bad past. And yet, when he has known Jesus, it's been all changed. Ganon tayo dapat, mga kapatid. Nung nakilala natin, akala niyo ba, sis, itong tumatayo sa iyong harapan, walang nakaraan ito, mas masahol pa nakaraan ko sa inyo. Okay? In short, I am upside down before I came to Cyprus. I'm not that bad. But I mean, in my trials, I am upside down. I'm totally dead. I'm alive physically, but spiritually, inside, I am dead. Totally. And thanks to God for revealing Himself to me, I am now alive in Him. 20 years, I am alive. And there are a lot of fruits already in my life. Hindi ko isa-isahin kasi hindi sa patang isang araw na isa-isahin ko kung ano ang It means to see that I pass through that trials. That's why if I listen, if you let me hear your trials and testing, I can see that's just a normal as my sisters and brothers. Especially as believers in Christ, what do you expect of Jesus Christ? If you're really looking to Jesus Christ as Paul in his words, Christ suffered a lot more than what we suffer. Yes. Amen. Amen. Pero tayo binatuta lang ng isang isang salita kanina ay eh. umangat ano ng ilang angal. Dinapot pa ng taon. <laughs> Yan ang hirap sa atin eh. Ano bang sinasabi ng kasulatan? Do not let the sun go down that the devil will hold you. Kung hindi mo man may hingi ng personal, kasi ang hirap yata mags magsabi ng, Sister, I'm sorry kung nasaktan kita. Minsan napakahirap. Habi, I'm sorry kung nasigawan kita sa video call natin. Sa may mga asawa dyan, ha? Pagkatayo, pag natulog. Sorry, kapatid! Kung hindi, Kung hindi kita nakausap o natawagan sa eksaktong prinamis ko sa iyo. Kasi we always fail in our promises. You know why? Connection to our, the situation of our life, hindi po tayo dapat nagpa-promise ng oras at ano dahil hindi atin ang ating oras. Mga kapatid. Kaya, kaya, okay? Never, never promise or swear as children of God. Yun ang dapat alalahanin ninyo, mga kapatid. Ang sabi lang sa kasulatan, si yes, it yes. Si no, it no. But never say, I promise. Amen. Number one, if you are not, kaya nga, anong sabi? Sa prayer, unang-una, let God's will be done. Dapat, as a humble child of God, kapatid, let, will, let God's will be done. If I am there, I am there. If I am not there, I am not there. Do not say, okay, 12 o'clock, nandito ako. Ang tayo, maagang dumating 
sa alas 4 pa, yung isa, yung pala, hindi dumating, yung nag-promise ng 12 o'clock. Ano ngayon ang nangyari? Kaya God give us the, the, the word, His word that we never see promise or swear. A child of God. Just three, let's God will be done. And say no, it no. Say yes, it yes. Even in helping, it is like that. Do not say, okay, let me see. Kapag sumahod ako, sige, papahiramin kita. Hindi mo inaasahan, kinabukasan, may problema ang lumating. Ngayon, umasa na umasa, nagantay yung Never, never promise. That's one thing that a child of God must be done. Must done. Okay? So, sa binasa po natin, si Paul, wala po siya maipagmamalaki. Kundi ang sabi niya, may pagmamalaki lang niya ang nakilala niya ang ating Panginoong Jesus Christo. At yung nabago siya sa kanyang pamumuhay. Iyon po yun. Kaya yun po dapat ang ating goal sa ating buhay. Kung hindi pa tayo nag start na mabago, sabi nga ni Sister Joyce kanina, it's so amazing that God since she accepted Jesus as her, as her Lord and Savior, mayroon na po siya nakita pagbabago sa kanyang buhay. Go on to that. Go to that. Amen? You must continue to that. You must pursue. You must insist. You must not retreat. No retreat, no surrender sa anak ng Diyos. Amen! No ID, no ID. Hindi ako yung kagod ko yan, mga kapatid. Go na, go na tayo. If you are tired, you can rest. But never go back. Yun lang yun. Never go back. Just rest. That everyone needs rest. Amen. Hallelujah. Paul spent his pre-Christian life working hard to obey every bit of God's law. He hoped to win the Lord's approval and escape eternal judgment by adhering to God's standards of righteousness. Ito pang buhay ni Paul nung hindi niya nakilala ang ating Panginoon. By his own strict standards, he considered himself righteous. Yes. That is before. Okay? Yes. Kaya na, he was murderer. Murderer of those who believe in Christ. Mm -hmm. Dahil akala niya,